All right, guys, what you see before you is a $13 Walmart ammo can. And right off the top, that seems like a really good deal. I mean, nowadays, surplus ammo cans are selling for about 15 bucks, give or take. New ones are selling for about 20 So 13 bucks seems like a pretty good deal when it comes to getting a good, solid steel ammo can. But here's the thing. One, this is made in China. And two, do we know if this thing's really solid? In other words, is this just a store and stack ammo can? Which if it is, there's no problem with that. There's nothing wrong with that. If you just need an ammo can to organize your ammo, maybe move it around the house a little bit or take a can to the range here and there, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want a little more, can you expect that from this? In other words, can you beat this thing up a little bit? Maybe knock it around a bit, ding it up and be assured that you're not going to have any parts falling off or it's not going to split apart at the seams. Or what about if you leave it out and it rains? Can you be reasonably certain that your ammo is going to be okay inside the can? Or what if, God forbid, you actually dropped this can into a puddle or a small body of water? And assuming you make all reasonable attempts to pull it out pretty quickly, can you assume that your ammo is going to be okay inside? That's what I want to know about this ammo can. I want to know if it offers the same level of protection that a lot of other more expensive or military surplus ammo cans offer. That's what we're going to test here today. Now. Let's crack it open here real quick and I'll show you what I've got inside. I've just thrown basically some crumpled up paper in here just for when it comes to testing it for how water resistant it is because we don't expect it to be waterproof. No ammo can is waterproof. If you leave it underwater long enough, it's going to leak. But you do expect it to be water resistant. This does have the seal on it like a standard ammo can. So we're going to throw this in the water. We're going to get it wet. We're going to bang it around outside, bring it back in and check it out and see what happens to it. And then we'll know for sure if this $13 ammo can from Walmart is really a good deal. All right, test number one. We're just going to drop it, see what happens. All right, so I'm going to lift it up about five feet, drop it straight down. Here we go. Well, I'm reasonably certain that nothing bad happened there, but let's check it just in case. Yep, looks good. Let's try something else. All right, now we're just gonna bang it around on the ground a bit and see what happens. So here we go. One more time. Still looks good. Latch, hinges, everything still holding together, so good so far. Now it is time to make it rain, and let's see what happens. Make sure we get all around the edges and the seals. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Let's try it out now. All right, let's crack it open and see what we got. Well, let's shake the water off first. We don't want any getting in when we open it. And so far so good. Everything's good and dry in there, so let's try something else. All right, now this is my pool, which severely needs to be cleaned. Don't judge me. I'm gonna hold the can underwater and we'll count to, let's say 10 and see how it does. You can be sure that if you drop a can of ammo in a puddle or a pond or something, you're probably gonna try and get it out pretty quick. So I'm gonna count to 10 and see what happens. Now, if we see air bubbles coming off this thing, we know there's air coming out, that's water getting in, but I guess it then comes down to a matter of how much water is gonna actually get in this thing. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
ten and a half, ten and three quarters. All right, we'll go ahead and pull it out. All right, there we go. We're gonna make sure that the outside's nice and dry before we crack it open here, or at least dry enough that it doesn't drip any water inside that would then lead us to believe that uh, water actually got in other than just from opening it up. So let's take a look here. And here we go. This is what it looks like inside. I do see a couple drips coming around the edges, but it looks like that's probably more or less from when I opened it more than anything else. But the paper is distinctly dry and there is no pools of water in the bottom. Maybe a little bit down there, I don't know. It looks like there could be a little bit of pool of water down right there in that corner. I don't know if that's from opening it or if it legitimately got some in, but needless to say, your ammo would be pretty damn safe. You might get a couple of ammo, the boxes, the cartridge boxes wet, but uh, the ammo inside would probably be okay as long as it didn't sit submerged for, I don't know, more than a few minutes. But, um, so there you go. Well, there you go, guys. I really don't know what else to say. I mean, the thing is still here. It's still kicking. It's still running. It's still good to go. There is not a dent or a ding on this thing. It got just a couple of scratches on the bottom from dropping it on concrete. I mean, it did get a few drips inside, but literally, I mean, a few drips. If I had had ammo in this thing, that ammo would still be good to go. It would not have been ruined at all. And I don't know how the water got in. I don't know if it legitimately got past the seal or, as I suspect, it was water that was sitting here on the outside of the seal. And as soon as I broke the seal and opened the can, it just kind of started trickling and running down the inside of the can. But either way, this thing is as advertised. It is water resistant and it works. And what more can you ask for from a $13 ammo can? I mean, I dropped this thing on concrete. I slammed it on the ground repeatedly, sprayed it for a solid 20 seconds with a hose, completely submerged it for a solid 15 seconds, and it's still good to go. I don't know what you're waiting for. If you've been hesitating on picking some of these up, don't. The $13 Chinese-made ammo can from Walmart is definitely good to go.